Hello and welcome to another video from Double Realm. This video is part two of our Introducing Kids to Mall Railway series, and in this video, we take a look at train sets. Train sets are a fantastic way to get started in a hobby. They give you everything you need in a box ready to go. So if you buy a train set, you know you have everything you need to get running. So a train set typically consists of some kind of locomotive, some kind of rolling stock, whether it's uh, passenger coaches or freight wagons, track and some kind of controller and basically the difference between all the different types of train sets available are how much track you get how the type of uh, rolling stock and locomotive you get and the type of controller whether it's uh, analog which you just basically control with a knob whether it's a uh, dcc whether you which is basically a digital control where you control it with a kind of an integrated lcd type display on the controller or whether it's more sophisticated computer control, which is a form of DCC, but is done using your laptop or your personal computer rather than a separate controller. So we're going to take a look at Hornby's products today. And Hornby have a product uh, that comes with their train sets called a track mat. Now a track mat's about four foot deep and about six foot wide. And it's basically got a uh, printout of all the track and elements of the layout. And you're supposed to take this and basically glue it down to a piece of plywood, put the track on it as you expand the set, and then you can basically have a layout. Uh, a good way to use this particular type of product is to put caster wheels on the underneath of the plywood, and then you can slide it in and out from under your kid's bed or another location. So in this video, we're going to go take a quick look at how you use the track map and how you use these train sets uh, by basically looking at one of them. And then we're going to go and give you a couple of demonstrations from other products such as Bachman's Thomas the Train. So here we have Hornby's Virgin Pendolino train set. Now this train set is one of their mid-range train sets and basically comes with an oval of track, a siding, and a four-car Pendolino train. Now the four-car Pendolino train has a powered uh, power car at one end and then the rest are basically dummy or unpowered. Uh, you can see here it comes with a track mat and you start in the uh, second phase of the track mat which I think is with the uh, expansion pack A already included. So this is a pretty good set it's about uh, 174 pounds uh, normally it's the retail price but you can get it for considerably less I think Hornby had a Black Friday deal of it or uh, costing about 99 pounds. And about £99 is a fair price for this product. Um, or 11.55 is the product code. So we're going to take a look at exactly how the product works as it's very similar between other train sets. So right on the box you can tell what type of track comes with it. Here you can see the track is actually segmented into each particular set track piece that you get. And each of those pieces are listed on the back of the box so you can tell what you're getting. You can see here you're getting the outer loop and one of the sidings for the track mat. So you're going to be able to expand this with other track sets later on if you decide to expand it. Or you can simply take the track and build out your own layout from a track plan book such as those are available from Pico. This particular set is DCC ready which means you can expand it to a digital set later on if you want by simply replacing the controller and adding a DCC chip to the locomotive. But we won't worry about that for now. For now, you basically just want to focus on this is the type of track that you get. This is basically the standard mid-range track that you get, and it's a good place to start from. Along with the track, you can see here you get a controller. In fact, the photo on the front of the box shows you the type of track that you get. You can see that you get a number of curved pieces, a set of points, and a couple of straight sections, as well as a set of buffer stops. Buffer stops are for the siding. You'll see here on the right hand side, underneath the analog controller, it comes with a power piece of track as well. That little um, thing with the two orange buttons on it is basically how you connect the track to the power controller. It's very, very simple. You simply put the connector in, and you're good to go. You can see here that it comes with a AC adapter for the UK. If you're in Canada, Australia or the United States, most vendors, if you buy it from within your own country, will replace that power transformer with one that works in your country. However, if you order this from Hattons or one of the UK retailers that ship overseas, 
you will need to find a replacement power pack. And finally, you can see here, you get the four car Pendolino set. So this is the type of train and rolling stock that you get with this particular set. So this format is the same across all of Hornby's train sets. The first image going from left to right is basically the type of track that you get that fits on the track mat, the type of train that you're getting and the rolling stock, and then the type of controller and the photo of the track that you're getting. All of Hornby's products with their train sets fit this format. So you can go and look at images online of the boxes or you can physically inspect the box at the shops and see exactly what's in each train set. Basically, you're either paying for a different train or a different type of control. Now, the type of set that you buy really depends on your budget and it depends on your personal taste. So you might want a steam locomotive, you might want a diesel locomotive, you might want a high-speed Pendolino train such as this one. If you're purchasing for a younger modeler, I'd recommend that you start off with some of the cheaper sets or possibly at least one of the analog control sets. You can always upgrade to the DCC set later on by simply replacing the controller and adding a chip. However, you'll find that younger modelers, especially those under the age of about eight, will find the DC control a lot easier to use than the DCC control, as it's a lot simpler to use as just simply a knob. As you can see, this particular train also has tilt action and lights. As I mentioned at the start of the video, the cheaper sets come with the basic oval, and then the slightly more expensive sets already have the OR8221 track pack A applied. So you can see here, the bits in red have been added to the basic oval to give you this set. And you can see here, Hornby have put in a statement saying that the layout at this stage is the layout you get in this particular Pendolino pack. You can see here, you can expand it to create an interior kind of passing loop with track pack B, and then with track pack C, you can extend that passing loop to a second full track. So this now gives you two operating loops, and typically these are wired together, so they're operated from the same controller. Then you can use track pack D, which adds an interior loop with an extra siding and expands the length of the loops on the outside. Finally, track pack E allows you to expand it further by placing a extra set of points, giving you that extra siding on the outside of the track. Then the final pack, which is pack F, adds additional sidings to the interior and the exterior sidings. Also note that if you want to, you could change the power outputs by adding a second controller, but that would require you to add what are called isolated fish plates to the joints between the two loops. The concept of these particular train sets has not really changed over the years. Here is a APT set from the 1980s. I believe this is from the early 1980s, perhaps uh, 1980 or 1981. Here you can see you get a very similar large oval of track and you get the APT itself. Now if you go through some of the older um, Hornby sets, whether you're buying one online through eBay, whether you're pulling one that you had as a kid for your own kids out of your attic or loft, or whether your grandparents or parents have given one to your kids um, that they had when, when they were children. So here you can see it's a very, very similar concept, and this concept really hasn't changed. The only thing that's really changed over the past few years are the control type, which is adding the DCC control and the more sophisticated trains, as well as adding the track mat. You can see here there's no track mat with this particular early 1980s APT set. However, beyond that, it's very, very, very similar, and it's basically the same concept. You get the power clip, you get a re-railer, and you get the variable AC controller. So all in all, it's basically the same concept. You can see here that Hornby are still using the same segmented track diagram to show you the various components that come with the set that they did in the 1980s. This is a very good idea. You can take one quick look at it and you know exactly the amount of track and the exact amount of sections of track you're getting. So it's a very good way to ascertain exactly what's in the set by just simply looking at the box. 
Just to show you that this concept is even older than that, here is a mainline railways train set from 1979. This particular train set consisted of a large circle of track, a battery operated controller that needed two type 996 batteries, which weren't included, but it had the same power connecting clips, a steam locomotive, and various wagons. So you can see there's a wide variety of train sets that have been out there for decades. So if you don't, can't quite afford one of the newer ones, you might be able to pick up one like this off of eBay or secondhand elsewhere from perhaps a smaller model shop. And they work just as well. This particular one I picked up was actually only about $60 and had never been run before. So it was a good deal. However, the concept of train sets are even older than that. This is a train set from the 1960s. It's a uh, Triang Railways, the Blue Pullman electric train set. Now, this particular set consisted of a three car Blue Pullman, which had one power car and two dummy cars, very similar to the Pendolino and the APT setup. It also came with a oval of track that consisted of something very, very similar to what you saw in the APT set. The only difference was while the APT set and the Pendolino had more modern, what's called Code 100 track. Uh, Code 100 track is basically the, the height of the rail is significantly lower than uh, the older track. Uh, this particular tra train set had what's called Super 4 track. It was about double the height of the newer Code 100 track. So this particular train won't run on the newer track without modification but you could run newer trains on its older track. Now keep in mind these older train sets, including the APT train set, had a sort of a steel uh, type uh, track, while the newer train sets have nickel silver. Steel track will eventually rust if it gets damaged or scratched or the coating is removed from it. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing that you probably want to invest in is a track cleaning arrow. And these only cost a few dollars or a few pounds, and you can buy them where you buy the train set. So before we move on to showing you the Bachman Thomas the Train train set, I just wanted to show you here, we actually have an expanded Triang Railways train set. So this is actually the Blue Pullman train set that you just saw. However, it's been expanded with a couple of expansion packs. As you can see, that concept is one that's quite old with Hornby. And here you can see we've actually figured out a way to integrate that into our much larger permanent layout. So like I said at the beginning of the video, train sets are a very good investment because you can actually take the components and then recycle them into a permanent layout when you decide or if you decide to go ahead and build one. So I hope you found that useful. Now let's take a look at the Bachman sets. A couple of days ago, um, I saw on the Bachman channel this uh, Whistle and Shuff Thomas. Now, regularly, it's about $250, which for what you get is a little pricey. Um, but on uh, MallTrainStuff.com, they had it for $129. Uh, plus, I had uh, some uh, gift cards for there, so uh, I was able to get it for a little bit cheaper. So it's a uh, fantastic little set, and it's a great way to get started. And so since we uh, had already looked at uh, you know piecing together... Uh, some stuff with the uh, Class 06 shunter. I thought we'd uh, take a look at a way to get kids into the hobby. Uh, so like I said, uh, trains and kids uh, pretty much uh, go together pretty easily. Um, you know, you let them have access to the controller, uh, don't get mad at them, and uh, make sure whatever they're using is something you don't really care about too much, and uh, everything should go pretty smoothly. So um, this Thomas and Friends is a great way for them to get started, and uh, you can always use the rolling stock um, and the you know the track and the controller um, later if they outgrew Thomas or uh, they want to get other uh, trains as well. So you don't have to just use Thomas and Friends uh, trains on this uh, particular track. Uh, you can use the Class 06 Hunter. So uh, there's plenty of other ways you can step them up as they get older into uh, you know the the proper uh, mall railway stuff. So uh, what do you get with the set? So with the set you basically get Thomas, um, which has an analog sound. Uh, you get a uh, two troublesome trucks, and you get this uh, ring of 36-inch uh, uh, snap fit easy track. 
and uh, you get the uh, power controller. And the power controller is basically the same ones that we use on the double rail layout um, for most of our stuff. Uh, it's just a different color. It's exactly the same controller. And um, they have uh, plenty of trains. Uh, as you can see there, uh, they have all the various different trains. So if your kid's big into that, it's a great way uh, to get relatives and stuff. Uh, an easy choice at Christmas time when it's uh, our birthdays uh, to get presents. So um, just to give you an idea, in the background there, uh, you can see the loop of uh, track, which is the easy track that we put together. Now you will notice that the Thomas and Friends easy track here is um, is this black color, whereas the one I showed you in the previous video was uh, a gray uh, kind of base. Uh, the gray base stuff is actually nickel silver track, which is what we normally use on the layout. Uh, this black stuff is the cheaper uh, steel track. And it's okay, it'll be a little bit harder to clean. You probably want to get a track eraser. Um, and, and that sort of thing, but it, this stuff will eventually uh, tarnish a little faster than the nickel silver. Um, so, you know, if you're expanding this, it all fits together. Uh, you might want to buy uh, nickel silver track rather than the um, than the other. But the nickel, the you know, the silver, the steel track is um, is a good bit cheaper. It's about three or four dollars cheaper. So, it, it's up to you. All right. So, what you get is this uh, loop of track. So, I'm going to move the camera up and just give you a bird's eye view of the track itself. So you can see there you get the uh, full loop. It's uh, about 36 inches in diameter and it's not too bad. And it's the same setup. You get the uh, blue controller. has two wires and uh, if you look here it also has this uh, re-railer track which makes it easier for the kids to put the trains onto the track. It has uh, power cord uh, connections on either side uh, so you can do what I did here and uh, put the controller on the inside so the kid can sit on the inside and watch the train go around or you can plug it on the outside it's really easy to uh, move around and uh, what we'll do is we're going to move the camcorder down a little bit um, but before I do that um, you can see here that the uh, controller is the same it looks the same it uh, has a slightly different graphic on the front here um, still has the same Bachman 5, still the same directional, um, still the same connection. So this red line wire here goes to your track, and this one here goes to your um, power cord. And you have this accessory bus too, which you don't really need to worry about. Um, but yeah, it's relatively easy. The kid can knock it together. My two-year-old uh, can plug it in, so it's uh, relatively easy. And what we'll do is we'll show you Thomas uh, moving around on the track here uh, just a little bit. So it is analog so you just uh, oh, he's got set to go backwards. What I'll do is I'll do some uh, handy camera work here so you can see Thomas moving around. And so the track, the power, everything is all the same as what you'd see on a regular model layout. So it's all compatible. You can throw the double O gauge stuff on there, HO scale, whatever you want to do. Uh, Thomas, aside from making that chuffing noise and the whistling periodically, it is uh, speed controlled. So if I speed him up or slow him down, uh, he will go a little faster and the sound will go appropriately. You can see the other speed them up. Sound goes with it. If I slow it down, the sound goes with it as well. And funnily enough, uh, the sounds on this are, you know, I'm part of the TTS sound uh, P2 that I have, so it's uh, not uh, anything too shabby pretty nice. Alright, uh, the other thing that Thomas does is his eyes move. I'm not so sure you'll be able to see it from that angle, so I'm going to turn the camera cord off and move it and uh, let you guys see it that way.
Okay, so first off, uh, keep in mind that Thomas is designed for eight plus, and we gave it to a two and a half year old, now three year old. Um, but you can see here, Thomas is doing pretty well. Um, he has uh, his step still attached there, still has all his buffers, although you can see uh, the paint comes off a little bit. You can see that the face does come off quite easily with Thomas. So if you drop him, knock him over, or derail him pretty hard, the face can go off. And we have gone and looked for the face a few times, but you can see there it's doing pretty okay. Chimney's been chewed a little bit by the uh, three-year-old, and you can see that the step on that one side's been snapped off, and there's a bit of paint missing from the top of the roof. However, all in all, Thomas is doing really, really well for having about three months of direct, hands-on, heavy use by a two-year-old who's now three-year-old. All right, so that's it for this video. In our third and final part, we're gonna show you how to take a train set and basically go to this, which is a uh, full-on layout, sort of more permanent, and this works really, really well for a three-year-old or older child. As you can see here, we have uh, Toby and Thomas, and uh, you guys can look forward to seeing how exactly we went from the train set to this in a very cost-effective manner. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time.